That's yeah. It feels good man, it just yeah, it's it's nice to have the music well received, like all that stuff like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like selling shit out is almost just like it's an image thing, you know that way? And I try not to get too like big headed or in on my ego or anything like that. Uh, but at the same time you gotta appreciate it because it doesn't happen to everybody and it's cool to just see fans out there and people that appreciate the music are yeah, it's nice to meet them and stuff, so yeah, it's cool man. Yeah, very exciting to be young and Irish and making music. It's just there's a crazy, it's almost like a mad explosion of music I feel that's come out uh, from our little island. Like tons of people, like Junior Brother I love, David Keenan I think is really cool. Yeah, like Dermot Kennedy's doing real good, Reggie Snow's doing good, Big Pig is amazing, April is class, like everybody over at Softboy Records I think is amazing. So I don't think we've ever had like a lack of talent in Ireland, it's just you don't have a great music infrastructure, in my opinion, anyway. But there's loads of people that are kind of like working to fix that. You know, Softboy are doing our bit, filling that niche, because I didn't feel like there was like a, any cool record label that I was like looking at. Like, yeah, I'd love to be on that record label, or I really love what they do. And there's like tons of other people that are doing really cool stuff. So, yeah, it's sick, man. It's an exciting time. There was this fellow who used to walk his dog. He had a Bernese mountain dog called Rex. <laughs> and I met him. Oh, yeah, the dog had a fucking Instagram and everything. I still follow him. I think the visual aspect is really important. It's it's how most people engage with the work anyway. Whether it's like scrolling through your Instagram feed and you see some artwork that you think is like eye catching. For me, it's like all about making that properly represented music. I've always had like a mad interest in film and video, so it kind of felt, in one way, it felt natural to be doing that, like helping direct those videos and stuff. And at the same time, it's also necessary because I didn't have any money. So you kind of have to do a lot of it yourself. And that's kind of where a lot of our like ethos for the label and stuff comes from. I have to um, have like Photoshop an island flag instead of the UK one or something. I think it'd be like a poor business decision to keep everything independent. And for me to be trying to do like managing and all that stuff. Like I had a good conversation with Big Pig about that. Um, she's talking about like if you think of music like running a restaurant, you know what I mean? You're not going to be the hostess and you're not going to be the chef and the waiter. It's, that's a terrible business model. I'm sure you guys are the same with your magazine and all. Like if you have those resources, it makes sense to bring people on board that's going to raise up the quality of the stuff you're making and make sure that, you know, you can keep sane because it's very easy to just like lose one of your mental health doing this stuff. Independence in terms of creativity, and having like the final say on what you put out, that's really important. In terms of like independence, meaning you have to do every single little job and that sort of thing, I think your time is probably better spent focusing on the art. That's kind of my opinion on it. Do you take photos with musicians and imagine you bring them to a record yeah. shop? Yeah, 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 not like fake mustaches, <laughs> but... Just wow. yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> why, why do you need it? Why do you need it? Really really seminal moustache. <laughs> like this moustache changed my career. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> I wish I had this prepped. Why, why am I blanking so bad? Little do a good Pilsner. Because they got like the, the 500ml bottles and their twisty caps. So there's no pissing about. Yeah. You know what I mean? You get in, get the Pilsner. Crack those bottles open. Susan, Susan just keeps that shit real. Keen actually at the time was working in a law firm and his boss's name was Susan. We recorded an eviction notice in like two hours. It was weird and serendipitous. It was like he came over to mine at like half five. I had my wardrobe open with like the duvet stuffed in it, the mic all set up. 
I'd sent him over the lyrics to the song a day or two before. I thought he learned it, he didn't. But so he's just reading off his sheet. But he had like two hours to record because he was going to his work Christmas party. When he left, I recorded the vocals on top of it. Or the harmony, sorry. And then that's how that song came about. Susan was his boss. It was Susie, I think.